Hi guys, it's Sharon. This week, Chanel just launched their newly reformulated Rouge Allure Lip Line. They promise to give intense pigment, lasting moisture, and be universally flattering on all skin tones. We thought that sounded too good to be true, so we tested passion on three different women, myself included. As you can see, the color looks pretty good on all three women. What do you think? If you want to try this lipstick out for yourself, you can like, comment, or share this video for a chance to win it. Hi, I'm Dawn, and I'm excited to tell you about three new fragrances that just launched this week. First up, Gucci Premier. It came out at the Venice Film Festival over the weekend with Blake Lively as the face. Then there's Balenciaga Floral Botanica. It comes in this really cool striped bottle, and Kristen Stewart is starring in that campaign. There's also Lancome La Vie est Belle, which is another gorgeous one. Julia Roberts is working with them. So if you are a big fragrance fan, now is a great time to get out and check out all of the new scents. September is a huge month for fragrance, and you can see more on TotalBeauty.com. Check out our editor's sniff test. Hey guys, Sarah here. I'm really excited about this Stanford University study that found that there's basically no health difference between conventional and organic foods. It's great news for me because I don't really want to blow my entire paycheck on organic heirloom tomatoes. The only area they say it somewhat matters is with meat, since conventional meat can have higher levels of antibiotic resistant bacteria, but the experts say when it comes to your fruits and veggies, you should just buy what fits your budget. Hi guys, it's Audrey, and I have a new study to report on this week. Out of Arizona State University comes research which suggests that the prettier an athlete is, the harder she tries to compete. Why is this? Well, it's called the Sharapova effect, and it harkens back to the fact that Maria Sharapova, who's in the U.S. Open right now, in the quarterfinals, made $22 million last year from endorsements alone. She made $4 million from tennis, but that's a lot of money to be making just for looking pretty. Do you agree with this concept? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.